The Night Shift is a real play D&D video and podcast series for mature audiences. Content warnings can be found in the episode descriptions. This episode contains profanity, violence, and sexual references. An 18 plus audience is recommended. Souls already sold. So if you're trapped under a spell, I wish you well. And if a creature roams your streets, you do better to retreat. Cause if you want it done right, don't hide the night shift. The Night Shift is an unofficial B-list of mercenaries, hired hands, sell swords, and adventurers. Our current group are sitting around random tables dispersed amongst the duck and cover in. A medium-sized tavern, dark, smoky, scarred wooden tables and wobbly chairs. The bartender, Badger Fiddlesticks, is pretty used to seeing your faces. Um, yeah, he sometimes is. he's happy to see some of your faces <laughs> and less so for others. Looking at you. <laughs> He's less happy to see me? He's less happy to see you. you, you, know, you I must you start some well. shit up here yeah, in the, in the duck and cover you freak in. out and tear up the whole board. The good, news is, <laughs> 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 the good news is Badger doesn't really put up with any bullshit. Um, he's a former colonel in the local militia. Uh, now, you know, these days he's a heavy set, bald gnome. Uh, maybe not intimidating in terms of physical presence, but he can still command a room. He's seen some shit in his day. Um, he he might be like 45 and kind of young to retire, or he might be 150. It's kind of hard to tell. His looks kind of blend in a little bit. It's currently well after midnight, um, but at the duck and cover in, that means absolutely nothing. Uh, things don't even really start start to roll at the duck and cover in until 10 p.m. or so. Yeah. Um, in the gold mine. The uh, and the place is relatively full. There, there are quite a few people who are willing to work the night shift in order to pick up some money here or there. Um, you guys are accustomed to one another, having having done a few guard duty augmentation jobs together. Um, that mostly consists of you know, walking around with torches and yelling at low level thieves. <laughs> Maybe teenagers painting graffiti on the outer outer walls. Sound of ales being poured into mugs. Gentle clinking silverware. And a roaring hearth, of course. Um, Timbo, I think, is probably situated about as far as possible <laughs> from that hearth, um, though he is enjoying the warm atmosphere. Uh, there's a there's sort of a low murmur of that late night talk, and a jaunty, if somewhat inebriated, band is playing a little tune um, on what a generous man would call a stage, and non generous man would call a rug that's in the corner. <laughs> All tapes. <laughs> jobs don't come often during the night shift. Well, that's not exactly true. It'd be safer to say that good jobs don't come often. In fact, good jobs come so infrequently that there's a name for the type of job these adventurers work. Night shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, I can't. I can't work at the Iron Company anymore. I mean, I can. I just. I have to do the the night shit. <laughs> what does get offered tends to either be boring and incredibly low paid or high risk low reward such is the nature of being on the b-list you see at one point there was no night shift at sunset the iron company would shut down and they didn't take any more jobs until sunrise it was sort of a handshake and a wink with the local thieves guild um they can certainly say it was out of tradition or safety concerns but the truth is they had a look the other way deal with the Thousand Hands Guild, just the strongest professional guild in Nest Haven. Composed of bandits, thieves, burglars, shoplifters, pickpockets, swindlers, confidence men, and highwaymen. When these two-story guilds came to blows, all that changed. It was just less than a decade ago. Our adventurers, who have already in introduced themselves, um, have planted themselves at various tables scattered throughout the duck and cover in. Uh, I'd say you're probably in various states of disrepair. Um, whether that's drunkenness or tiredness, I'll, I'll let you decide. Um, <laughs> uh huh. Doesn't take much oh, to get oh, a halfling drunk. Perhaps <laughs> just a foul mood. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
The water clock on the, wall, on, on the wall spills liquid from container to container behind its massive glass encasement, and it reads 3 a.m. Water clock. Yeah. We're tying one on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the witching hour. Yeah, it's the witching hour. There you go. Yeah. Um, it's at that moment that the large oaken doors swing open with kind of a heavy thud. This is not uncommon at the Duck and Cover Inn. Mm. That's typical of someone being drunk and looking for the next place to stagger into. Um, maybe the job comes in because their, ho their house just got robbed. What have you. But in this case, the person that emerges through the doorway is a little confusing. You all know him on sight. Davak Gorsman is a pretty famous noble in Nest Haven. His purple um, cape that drapes around his shoulders, um, his pockets that jingle, is certainly overbur overburdened with an abundance of coin. And immediately he introduces himself, even though everyone in the room knows clearly who he is. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Oh, it's such a good night, and you're really, you're really doing it in here, aren't you? Good, good, good. Having a night, that's great. Um, okay, so I have a job, actually, um, for those that are interested. Without even the slightest hesitation, numerous hands go up, and Davik sort of stumbles back a bit and, and holds his hand to his chest in, in feigned surprise. Um, his purple headband, keeping his reddish gray hair out of his eyes, sort of slips a bit and he readjusts it. Um, <laughs> he sort of yes, grabs the, the heavy amulet necklace around his neck and, oh dear, lots of, lots of, um, of volunteers. Okay, um, I can only pay 20 gold pieces for the job. Now, only 20 gold pieces is not something that is said in the duck and cover, <laughs> just to be clear. It's a pretty hefty wage for the type of jobs that you typically do. You know right off the bat, we're not going to be doing guard duty. We're not going to be cleaning up graffiti. This is the sort of thing that is maybe not high risk, low reward, but high risk, medium reward. Um, and while most people have suspicions, your hand's already in the air. So decision's been made to some degree. Um, Davik Gorsman is the head of the Gorsman family. Um, his estate is well known in Nest Haven. It's, it's outside of town. Um, and it's known as the Purple Manse of South Coast. Large mansion. His family's colors are um, purple and black. Davik sort of stops his feigned surprise and, okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, you, you, you and you. And he, he points to each of you individually at separate tables. I just like the randomosity <laughs> hey. of it, you see. Um, <laughs> You look like strong, willing, able-bodied people. I damn it. at least willing. Okay, well, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. The rest of the room kind of groans, uh, having, having missed the chance at 20 gold pieces in a single night. <laughs> Got him. Tom points around in, in <laughs> appreciation of his newfound glory. He's like, well, don't celebrate yet until you find out. <laughs> um, Get that money. Oh, great, not these losers again. <sighs> <laughs> he ushers you over to a table, um, somewhat secluded. Um, Timbo, it's it's a little closer to the fire, and I think mm. your, your your shoulder blades are sort of <laughs> hiking up, and and you're probably squeezing those butt cheeks a bit, but but you're <laughs> you're able to overcome it. I think. There goes Timbo again. <laughs> um, Davik sort of has you sit down, and he he turns to a to a a waiter and has a couple of drinks brought over, um, seemingly on him. He's all right, sit, sit, please. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about what we have going on. Um, 20 gold pieces per person, right? So that's that's quite a cash, yes. Um, but the deal is, I've got this um, rabid orc or something, and he's in my woods, and my children and my wife are terrified. And when I say terrified, I mean annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> so here's what I need. I need him gone tonight so that I can go on this little vacation I have planned and they can stay and not, well, send me a bunch of letters and bother me all day. Makes sense? Hi, mate. Shouldn't be a problem. I love smashing orcs. Is this at the Purple Mans? 
Yes, yes, it would be right, right outside of... Oh, right, I've always wanted to go there. I'm quite excited, Davik. When do we start? Yes, well, just to be clear, you uh, cannot step foot in my house. Yeah, yes, I can't wait to see it. Okay, it's going to yeah. be great. Okay, what I said was, I feel like he's not quite picking it up. You'll keep him out of my house, yes? We will do oh, the best that we can. I have no control over these people. Oh, Wherever the orc goes, I'll go, I reckon. Unless the orc has fire. He does what he wants. There won't be any fire, will there? Um, unless you bring fire, there should no, be no, fire. No. Um, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. No, well, there will be um, my, my, my gate guard will be there and they'll have torches. Um, but other than them, uh, I, I've sort of left the place unguarded for now. I don't want anyone else getting attacked by this orc, savage creature that it is. Um, I feel no. there will be many shadows in these woods. Is he causing any damage to the, uh, the, the woods themselves? I don't understand the question. As in, are the trees being hurt? Is he chopping uh, down the tree? I see. Yes, I don't understand the question. Um, you is he's, he's? Are you asking? If I he's, care about the trees. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'd like to give you twenty gold for you to do a job, and your main question is about the yes, the trees. The Kestrel yes. over here always caring about the dang trees. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't. I think it's probably damaging some of the trees. Yeah, just like I'm in. Just like okay. Yep. Do you need the gold or? Yeah, the gold will be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Not turning that down. Not, it's not that noble. We'll <laughs> is he mainly staying in the wood, in, or is he coming on to your property as well? Yes, he's no. He's mostly staying in the woods, but um, you know, he does keep sort of ranging into my, you know, into my area, and that's the problem. Is we've had several servants who were attacked. We had a little servant boy who was attacked, and now my kids are just ungodly afraid and you know how annoying that is so so yes you know i want them to um to sleep through the night mainly the kids yeah and so I want you can go and visit your mistress yeah well that's you don't have to say it out loud it's sort of an i, mean, I, I did not like realize we were going there and blow up the deal well, here i just like to i mean it 20, 20, 20 gold not, woman <laughs> we're trying right. to get this money if you ever need a good mistress <laughs> i i, I I'm not I might sure know I, a person or two. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure I heard all of that, but I will take you up on it. Great. Okay. Um, so you'll take it. It sounds like you're you're into it. Yes. Yep. We will I don't see why not. It's we just will one, take it. It's just one bloody orc. <laughs> we I'll should be able to you. handle that. No problem. In no problem at all. Be back before the sun rises. Yes. Well, that's the idea. So I, I, sh I should <laughs> I should warn you um, that he he's sort of you know in a rage in a fit and feral. i don't really know exactly why yeah maybe feral is a good word yeah, um, um so he is like you know wrecking a lot of things and maybe may not be able to be reasoned with is sort of what i'm getting at he gonna reason with my hammer i reckon oh, okay well fair enough <laughs> any questions for me when do we start um, now dude <laughs> well, well, what are we waiting for? Not, the sun. I'm ready to get away from this fire. Let's go. All right. Uh, Do you have a carriage that can bring us to the Purple Mance? I have, to, I have to give you 20 gold and a, and a carriage. Yeah, no, that's fine. Absolutely. I'll stay here at this inn, and you can ride in my fancy carriage. Oh, that sounds so great. Sounds yeah, perfect. I'm into it. Okay, I was sort of being sarcastic. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Let's it's go. Fine. You take the carriage. I will not. Do you have here, XM radio in this carriage? <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go instruct my man. You, you know, settle up. You, I, obviously, the, the ales are on me. Um, what? I've sort of oh, I time. have another question. Actually, oh, okay. this might be important. Um, when did it start? These attacks. Did you do anything to piss them off? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Orcs are sort of, you know. Fearsome creatures, I suppose. Um, no, oh. I don't think I've done anything to enrage it. I mean, it's, it's an orc, so that's probably most of it. I um, feel like you're like being you're a being little a discriminatory little here. Racist. Yes, <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Judging you I a have many bit. half orc friends. Well, he's not half orc, he's full orc. Well, I see what you mean. Yep, I heard it. I heard it right there in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yep. In this case, um, it's not like a race thing. It's like an orc <laughs> thing. Oh, that sounds... That, that's that's not, worse. No, that's that makes it way worse. worse. He's, I got it. I can fix this. Um, he is... He's just... He's mad. He's lost his mind, okay. and he is attacking my people. And it's not at all about the fact that he's an orc. It's just sort of a detail. He's just but, a bad guy. There a might be a fellow. reason okay. as to why he attacked, and I think we should explore it. 
Yes, I don't well, reckon I said, we ought to talk to him. Yeah, you know what, David, you don't worry about it. Don't know. I'm sure you're fine, and he's doing this for no reason. Yes, I'm and, sort of uh, concerned yes. that you don't think that. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, for sure. We'll protect your so. lands and kill the orc. Okay. I can see you winking. Got We're it. all yeah. at the same table again. Um, <laughs> What's so, up? So just to be clear, if you bring me proof that you handled this solution, this situation, then you will get 20 gold. Each. E each. Absolutely. It sounds great. Okay. Right. And, and you said my carriage. Yeah. yeah. Somehow sounds better. that makes sense. Also, yeah. you said ales on you, so I'm going to go talk to Fiddlesticks real quick. Just the current ones. <laughs> just the, uh, uh, well, the current batch. Maybe yeah. like uh, one, one, more round. Round. Yes, one more for the road. One more for the road. Yeah, yeah. One we're going to need one more. One more. One more. Do I need to get another group? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. We're good. All right. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Because I feel like I've already gone through the trouble of explaining it, and I don't want to have to do it again. It, you, you guys no, are mate. great. You're I've always loved it. the Gorsmans. Y'all are great people. Oh, wow. that is so good. Yes, it's very say. excited to see the purple mask. I'll mats. tell you what. You feel free to look in the windows of the months. <laughs> I'll do you one better. I'll go in the door. Don't <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. I, I cannot be any more clear about that. Don't go in. Okay, okay I it's absolutely nice. will. It's <laughs> We've just cleaned not. it, okay? Well. So don't 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 do that. Okay. Um you can take my carriage. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of settle up here and, and I will see you hopefully in the morning, back back here, preferably. Sound like Yes. Yep. With the orc head. head. Yes. There it is. Yep. That's that's no the problem. spirit. All right. Dick. All right. Uh, uh, happy <laughs> would you hunting. take a foot, maybe? <laughs> Davik sort of turns around and, and swaggers out of the building, and immediately a couple of different people who, who you know from the night shift walk over and sort of pat you on the back or shake your hand. Some of it is genuine congratulations, and some of it is like, hey, man, if you hit that score, I'm looking for an ale, okay? Like, I could use another, another drink. So there's a little bit of that going on, too. Most of it mm. good-natured. And now a word from our sponsors. You guys walk into the Duck and Cover Inn. Uh, same as you always do, uh, and the place is crowded. It's it's bustling. What do you do? I go right up to Badger and I say, "Hi, hey, mate. I'll take a rally cap first pitch." Hi, hey, uh, Timbo. How about uh, make make it two, please? Uh, I too would like a first pitch pill. What the hell is a rally cap? What is? What are you <laughs> talking about? Well, if I put my hat on backwards, you'd see a rally cap. Look at that. Uh, no rally cap first pitch. It's a hazy pale ale from. Uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Rally Cap Brewing. Why don't you pop that open, Kestrel? All right, all right, all right. Oh, Ooh, music that, that sounds was satisfying. Very satisfying. <laughs> music to my ears. All yeah, right. Pelican Craft Brands distributes this all over uh, South Louisiana. Anywhere that uh, Pelican Craft Brands are sold, you can find Rally Cap First Pitch Pale Ale. Atilius, one of your favorites, huh? One of my go-tos when I'm going to the pub is the first pitch pale ale from Rally Cap. It is a truly refreshing and inspiring beverage. Layered with flavors of peach, citrus, and tropical fruit. You guys should have told me that to begin with. I would have been, I would have dug right in. in. Now oh, she's in for it. plants? <laughs> <laughs> I can talk to this beer yeah, and drink it at the same time. It's so complex and yet approachable at the same time, isn't it? It's quite wonderful in that way. Uh, pro tip, also on tap at Government Taco. Oh, very nice. Oh. If very you two nice. have a baby that you're trying to keep entertained, uh, you can have some beer. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Don't uh, give uh, the beer we, to the baby. Don't, we, don't like, do was, that, that's Mabel. Mabel. Can we I discuss? performed in this tavern many years ago. I had a few too many rally caps. <laughs> 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 Next thing you know, I was going to ask. Is. I was going to ask. <laughs> we were going to discuss <laughs> this child. That, this is a rally cap baby, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> That is a bottle of barbecue sauce. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Never let your wife see this ad. <laughs> <laughs> rally cat. To rally cat. <laughs> Cheers. So I'm assuming we make our way out to the carriage? Yes. Yeah. No time like the present. Yeah. Let's, Let's just go. go. Let's go back to the Timbo, Attilius, right? Attilius. Attilius. Attilius, sir. As Attilius, mate. Nice to meet you, Tom Bombo. I know I've I've seen you all around, and yes, Tom. Well, you're a good lad. Worked a couple jobs with Kestrel before, but uh, it's good to see Haven't everyone. Haven't we again. all? Yeah, just quick request. Can we uh, skip over any of the songs that you might be doing later? Okay, well, that's kind of my entire thing. I so kind of like these songs. No, I, I, kind of I think, like I think you're songs. going to hear some songs. Well, okay? while we're in the carriage, Roy, we might as well have, have a team. A little music hurt, no, never hurts I'm anyone. Good. I'm good. Let's To the carriage! Oh. Yes. We journey outside the, the tall wooden doors. 
Yeah, you swing open the oak. I wait by the fiddlesticks. <laughs> Say I'll be back. He, Barkeep. He sort, of, he sort of tips the non-existent hat at you. <laughs> um, Later, Badger. You walk out, and that that heavy oaken door slams shut. And immediately all the music and the revelry and the crackling hearth disappears behind you. Mm. Uh, to most of you, to your disappointment. To Timbo, maybe he's a little more um, a little more comfortable suddenly um, without hearing that crackling fire in his ears. Hop in the carriage. Um, it is, for at least some of you, it's the nicest thing you've ever been in. Um, maybe not as much for Kestrel. Um, um, before she jumps into the carriage, she pauses, looks up at the sky and says, Mars is bright tonight. Uh, sure. Yes, <laughs> yes, sure, Kessler. Mars I was, is bright tonight. I was thinking the same thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to hear a stars. Mars song? That was a Harry Potter preference in case nobody got it, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Hermione over here. <laughs> that's uh, the centaur. What's his name? The centaur. Yeah. All right, so that that very that, spacious carriage. Yeah, it's very four spacious. and a half feet tall. Um, there, there's a little bar. It's got like little mini bottles oh, of liquor. Whoa, mm-hmm. um, uh, Timbo, pass for, some for of that over here. If you if you drink those, he's gonna have to pay for them. So you know. Yeah, it's, mm. it's like limousine rules. You know? uh, fuck. They, <laughs> they always get you with the limousine. Right? But he has to pay for. Yeah, Davik has to pay. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Come on here, go, Timbo. Oh, no, 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 pass around. Pass around. I reckon he can afford to spare us all another yeah, drink. Yeah, well, let's not get it. The cost of doing we business. Go meet Bjorn. Well, we're just having one yeah. drink. Yeah. And it's just one talk. talk. There's four of us. A little courage, maybe. A little beverage for you would be. Fearsome or when it's saying no to a nice stiff whiskey. I can handle it. Yes, maybe I should drink because I'm going to be working with all of you again. That's a girl. All right, so in, in pretty short order, I mean, it, it takes a little while on this carriage ride, um, but, but the, the manse is well situated outside of town. It is called the Purple Manse because there are... It's purple. No. Great, <laughs> great guess. Do you want to do this part and I'll go sit down and be the character? Or? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Just kidding. I like the guess. You just got oh. rebuked by God. <laughs> no, it, it is a large stone mansion surrounded by... Acres and acres of lavender fields, which at night are a little harder to appreciate in their That's full beauty. Um, but oh, but wow. it's called the Purple Manse because it is constantly um, mm-hmm. surrounded in this sort of purple flowery substance. Now, that that is mostly how the Gorsmen have made their money, is by packaging and selling lavender and its various products that come wow. out. Oh, it's got a smell. It smells like place. lavender. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. So relaxed. Not so bad. <laughs> I can't kill an orc right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could live in this house, though, no, I'll tell so you, you that. Yeah, so you, you're a little bit ahead of me. I love it. Um, so <laughs> as you as you pull up towards the guard's gate, this the the smell, I mean, the the atmosphere kind of changes. It's it's a very relaxed place. And even in the dark, even though you can't kind of see the rows and rows and rows of purple flowers you can still see the rose themselves and you know that up close at least um they're lavender and yeah maybe maybe you feel a little more relaxed you know i think i think there's probably something yeah. to that um not only that but this carriage ride you know 30 minutes of just sort of swaying back and forth drinking um, chilling if if tom tom's music playing if that is something that does uh lead you to be relaxed <laughs> for some of us maybe. you're feeling it <laughs> um but as you pull up there's this large stone gate um, with with metal gating that extends as far as you can see in either direction, and two guards sort of lazily leaning against um, stone pillars on either side, holding halberds in their hands. And they kind of hail the the carriage as it rides up, and the carriage rider sort of, you know, knocks on the on the roof for you guys to get out and handle your own business because he's not your servant. Who there? Yes, yes, the end of our ride. Do we have to get down now? We, you can't drive us up to the to the manse then, right to the front? Just a little bit further. All right. Um, good evening, guards. Uh, we are a brave group of adventurers sent here by Davik to slay the half-orc that has been uh, pestering these lands. Full orc. Well, three of us are adventurers. One of them will just sing them to death. <laughs> I, I, well, uh, yes, you, you will find the talents. power of music is eternal. Okay, uh, goes beyond your. What this, do you? What do you do? Play with sticks and twigs and leaves. Excuse me, I have very powerful. Well, 
Yeah, I guys, I don't it's me. I can orc. talk to this rabbit. Oh, well, that's, that'll help us kill the orc. Ah, you're here for the orc, huh? <laughs> well, I'm I'm Pin. I'm in charge. This is my subordinate, Gareth. I, uh, for the last time, I am not your subordinate. We are on equal level. I'm a Gareth. Pin, Pin was I get talking. Paid Pin, the same continue. amount of money. <laughs> Look, no! Gareth, we have Look. settled this. I am in charge. You can tell by the tone of my voice that I am the one who calls the shots around here. And you say Davik sent you? Is that correct? Your voice sounds silly. Gorsman yes. himself. So, oh, it was Davik. Okay, great. Yeah, great. he tracked us down to the duck good, and cover. Good. I'll take it from here. Uh, I appreciate you sort of introing, but this is really sort of a, you know, sort of a head guard. Sort yeah, of you would think that. But I thought, yeah. Gareth, he, he, guard. Is, is he he's not the leader of this? Is he not in charge? He's in charge of you. Well, he I'm in what charge. You, I'm allowing him it. to speak right he's now. Delegated. So he's delegating. giving you yeah, permission. This, this is okay. how a good manager works. That's what Davik tells me all the time. When we do our reviews, okay, right. Gareth, go ahead. Let's you may, please continue to the measuring contest and just Whoa. move on. Please. I will now allow Gareth to speak. Go ahead, Gareth. <laughs> Those halflings don't do well in those contests anyway. <laughs> so if we could move on, subordinate guard, that would be excellent. Well, no, I sort of don't want to actually. You, you do it. It's fun. No, no, no. I'm allowing you, Gareth, to go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Me. Where's the orc? Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Please tell us where the orc is. Okay, well, we, we, we don't really know where he is, per se. He's, he's on the property, though, or, or in the woods behind. Um, you said Devik sent you. Mm -hmm. did, he, did he send anything that's... that's How else would we know about the orc on the property if he he's not his sent carriage? us? This Great is point. his freaking This is his ride. If you, you know, we didn't kill him. <laughs> Pin, is it at all possible that they stole his carriage? Yes. No, I mean, I you know, us it doesn't look like we could steal anything. I mean, like I said, she only talks to animals. <laughs> oh, come on. We're, 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 Davik sent us. A dragon has no pockets. I have no place to hide anything. Sorry. Oh, it's, oh. Like a, it's, like a, it's like a dress, I guess. Um, okay. It's a, it's Let's just I'm just it's picturing fine. you in like a silk dress. <laughs> 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 like oh, we can it's very, it's very nice to dress, leave thing. and the orc can just kill you all. I that think that could happen. Them in. Yeah, we executive yeah. decision. We could probably <laughs> I'll go ahead and say I we will allow you to go. Let them in. It's yeah. unanimous uh, yes, amongst yes. me and my subordinate. No, no, we will let you nice job, Kesha. Thank you. Thank you. Next time on the night shift, you jump up and swing that warhammer, and, and he's raging. You guys watch. He he runs up and like it's Michael Jordan from the free throw line. <laughs> Lindsay, that's a famous basketball player. I got uh, it. Thank you. I know Space Jam. <laughs> Can't scrape together gold My soul's already sold So if you're trapped under a spell I wish you well And if a creature roams your streets You'd do better to retreat Cause if you want it done right Don't hide The night shift 